guys welcome back to the vlog <laughs> i don't even know like how to start this vlog i feel like i have so much i want to say um but today is monday september 17th maybe september 16th we just got back last night from our weekend at lake anna in virginia so we went to a lake in virginia with some of my college best friends this weekend and i could cry because of how good this weekend was like i needed that so much and i didn't really like understood understand that i needed it like we spent literally all day on the boat i didn't have my phone very much like i was like present in the moment i was with like my best friends i was with like my best like some of my friends family and they are like the best people and it was like I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I'm being dramatic, but it was so good for me <laughs> to be there. I didn't realize like how much I was working and how like obsessed and addicted I was to my phone and like just to be able to completely unplug. And like I still posted stuff, whatever. Like I wasn't on my phone very much, but like I still had it with me taking videos, like trying to capture memories, which I definitely did, but I, I just had like the best time so it's actually really hard coming back today because I it made me miss like college it made me miss my friends so much and I'm like why am I living so far away from people that I love so much and the answer is that we live all over the country you know I went to nursing school with the two girls who were like some of my best friends there and then it was one of the girl's husbands and then the other girl's family who her family is like family to me and I've only met them like a few times they're the best people but they remind me of home they remind me of like my family because they're from like the same kind of area so anyway it was just the best time I'm so sad to be home just because I'm so sad to be away from like my community if there's one thing that I learned this weekend it is that my friends and my family mean more to me than like the place that I live and the work that I do. I feel like I place so much emphasis on my job and my career has always been so important to me and it still is, don't get me wrong, but like my career can't be everything like because it doesn't fulfill me the way that like being around people that I love fulfills me. And um, you know, we've lived in Tampa for a little while, but it's been hard to like find our community here and you know we have friends but it just is not the same as when we were in college and we had those people right beside us so all i can do is hope that one day we'll all find our way back to the same location and be together but i had such a good weekend today is monday getting my life back together before we're starting a week of work so i wanted to bring you guys along I am working Tuesday through Friday this week in primary care and then on Saturday I actually have a cadaver lab that I'm going to in Orlando for my job in aesthetics. I'm super excited for that. It's going to be so interesting. Um, this is my last week of working full time as a primary care NP and then next week I'm going to part time and i'm excited for that i'm definitely a little bit nervous to go from like handling my patient panel four days a week to handling it two days a week and i'm definitely gonna fall off like my panel is like 1500 patients right now so there's no way i'm gonna be able to keep that up but i don't know we'll see how the transition goes i'm gonna be working wednesdays and thursdays there and then tuesdays and fridays i'm gonna be working in aesthetics and then some saturdays but i'm really excited just to kind of see what this next chapter holds for me um i'm really excited to bring you guys along but today we are resetting i have been doing laundry this morning i edited a youtube video that i was supposed to put up yesterday but honestly i was just like taking in time with my family my friends and so i didn't get it up yesterday so i edited it. it's uploading right now i'm getting, gonna go to the gym in a minute i'm gonna get dressed to go to the gym and then i want to do a trader joe's run and see if they have any of their fall products out and maybe get some like pumpkins or stuff. I do want to decorate for fall. I didn't get to do that in the next video, in the last video. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it today. So I'm hoping like next Sunday and Monday I can do like a little decorate for fall with me. And that'll be the next video that you guys see. Because I'm super excited to decorate for fall. I just have been a little bit busy. But anyway, let's 
get into the day. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Um, if you enjoy my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does support me so much and allows me to like do this and feel like I'm putting out like information or content that you guys are enjoying. So yeah. All right, this is what I'm wearing to the gym. I have been loving red this season. It's also like in my color palette, so. I don't know i feel like red just looks really nice on me with like the dark hair i have a little tan now which is great um but either way i just like red on myself so this is from set active i just like i can't say enough good things about set active i literally wear their stuff all the time i buy it with my own money it is not sponsored i wish it was but how cute is this little set and then i've got my on clouds i always wear my on clouds when i work out i know a lot of people are like oh you need to have flatter shoes when you're doing leg day which i am doing a leg day today but i don't know i'm just like whatever i have on clouds they work for me no big deal um so yeah i need to open a package from ehp labs because i'm trying a new product from them and then we'll get going one of my favorite things about spending time like meal time with people that i I'm not typically with every day is getting like meal inspo from them. So we had so much good food over the weekend, which my friends are just like good cooks. We all love to cook. And her mom had this recipe book from Baked by Melissa. Her name is Melissa Ben Ishe, but she's the person who makes like those little cupcakes. And she was like, you need to get this recipe book. She actually was like, why don't you just go through and take a bunch of pictures? And then her dad walked by and he was like, why don't you just order it on Amazon? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you're so smart. This is not a fully vegan recipe book, but a lot of the recipes in here, you can make vegan or, and she does have vegan recipes. So I'm excited for this. I did already make out like the list of foods I was gonna eat today. So I'm thinking maybe, or sorry, the list of foods that I'm going to make this week. But when I have some time next week, I'm gonna sit down and make some meals from this. So I'll have this linked on my Amazon, but really good. The recipes seem really simple, like very nutritious. I love it. So I'm excited to try that. Oh, I hate that sound. And then I work with EHP Labs all the time on this TikTok. I'm like an EHP Labs athlete, so they sent me a product to try. I have a discount code that you guys can always use with them. It's called um it's april i think it's just april fog but these are their energy drinks i usually don't drink a lot of energy drinks if i'm being completely honest just because of my anxiety but i'm really excited to decide that to try this because i do use their oxy shred products but i've never used it in energy drink form so i'm probably only gonna have half of this because this has 180 milligrams of caffeine in it and i already had coffee today but there's literally like zero calories in this this is the this is the flavor guava paradise i'm not going to try it on camera because i need to film a tiktok with them so go watch my tiktok for these but i'm excited let's go to the gym oh my god decided to go to sprouts for grocery shopping instead of trader joe's because i just couldn't be bothered to go downtown and then i also got my nails done I don't know if you guys can tell it's a little bit of a darker red than I got last time and I went to a different place because my place is closed on Mondays so I got um I think it's called like Magala wine like OPI something like that sorry my camera's having a hard time focusing but but it's very cute I really like the color Sprouts Hall I got a bunch of these Silk Creek yogurts you know I get you guys know I get these all the time but they had a few different flavors that I thought would be good to got, try. They had a blueberry and then they also had a, I wanna say a strawberry flavor. So I got those, I got so many drinks. I am so excited to try this poppy. I've never tried this wild berry one. I am like, I'm so excited. Um, and then I we also tried their cherry cola last week and I really liked it. So I stocked up on drinks. I got a few Olipops. I don't love Olipop, but I do like this flavor. And then it was like two for four. So one of my friends told me this weekend that they like the cream soda kind. So I thought I would try that. I love a pistachio latte. So I picked up this Elmhurst oat creamer. I really like the Elmhurst stuff. I think it has like decent ingredients. This one probably doesn't have the best <laughs> ingredients. It's not as good as their um, 
their milk. But anyway, I got some eggs for the dogs, Kalamata olives, peanut butter, edamame. I got some pasta. I think I'm gonna make hot honey pasta tonight. You guys know that recipe and love that recipe just as much as I do. Pita bread, because I am making some uh, a Greek meal, which I'm super excited about. And then I got some garbanzo beans, soy sauce, bread, cabbage, cucumbers. I got a bunch of Aloha protein bars. These are my favorite vegan protein bars. They have a good amount of protein. And then I also tried these a couple, or I tried a couple of these in that, I don't remember what it's called, Hungry Root or something like that, that um, my student sent me that one time and these are really good. So I thought these would be nice for like an evening, I don't know, sweet treat. I got some cherry tomatoes, some blue bottle espresso. This is our favorite coffee shop that we've ever been to. Then I got some crackers, lettuce, three avocados, a red onion, some Dijon mustard for the Greek meal that I'm gonna make, some vegan pesto, vegan feta, and some vegan cashew cheese. This is arugula, dill, two things of strawberries, falafel, tofu, some croutons, and then this is so random and like really early for the season, but I love this herbal tea and I saw that they had it out in Sprouts and I was like, mm, don't mind if I do, I have tea every single night. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, do a little bit of a grocery, I mean a little bit of a fridge clean out because there's just stuff that needs to be cleaned out in there. And I am watching Pretty Little Liars. It's kind of storming a little bit outside. Oh, I wanted to get flowers. I didn't get flowers. Oh well. And yeah, then we'll make dinner pretty soon. So tonight for dinner, we are making hot honey pasta. So I'm trying to get my water to boil. I just put tofu into the air fryer. This is how I do my tofu. I just put a little bit of oil, spicy hot honey, nutritional yeast, salt, and then in the air fryer, it looks like that. And I air fry it for about 30 minutes. cream oat milk latte. Let's give it a taste. Oh my gosh, so good. I used that Elmhurst pistachio um, creamer that you guys saw me get yesterday. Chef's kiss. So yummy. I am working in primary care today, so I need to go ahead and get ready, but I'm gonna first do um, my like morning rituals that I do, which is anywhere from like a five to seven minute meditation, my five minute journal and my daily devotional. I got up 10 minutes earlier today because I feel like I've been a little bit rushed doing those. So yeah, I that's like my favorite part of the morning. I highly recommend taking out like 10 minutes of your morning to just do a little something for you, whether that's going outside, and literally like looking up at the sun, like putting your feet in the ground. I know that sounds like really frou-frou, but like getting sunshine first thing in the morning is really great for your mental health. It's great to wake you up. It's a natural caffeine booster. So I'm gonna sit outside and do those things. Hi, good morning, who is she? What are you doing? Oh, you look so sweet. Oh, you need a belly rub? Okay. Get paid a tummy tax, huh? You don't want to come up? Okay. All right, you guys, we are ready to go. I filmed my morning for TikTok this morning, which is why you guys didn't see it. But it's pretty routine. I am feeling like nicely tanned. 
after a week at the lake or a few days at the lake. Bye, bye, guys. I honestly have got to get my car like detailed or something. There is just this smell in here. It smells like wet dog, and that's probably because my dogs used to be in here all the time. I can't get it out when I just clean it myself. So I really need to get it detailed. I'm gonna take my Copa Calm. My work bag. My work bag in here somewhere. Yeah. I didn't take this stuff while I was gone. Yesterday afternoon, I was heavy with the anxiety and it wasn't like pre-shifty anxiety. I think it was just, it wasn't even anxiety. It was like depression. <laughs> uh, I think it was literally like depression after being like with my friends for several days like just surrounded by people that I love that I really care about it just like felt so good like I'm never gonna get over this past weekend but anyway I was not doing well yesterday afternoon I also maybe needed to like charge my social battery a little bit I don't know that's what I was talking to my husband about he was like why are you so down because we had taken a walk earlier in the morning like when we first woke up and we were like this is a trip that it's going to be hard to like recover from you know where you like are seriously down in the dumps about it being over and I did I, I do feel that way I still feel that way that it's like that was like a really good trip I feel the way that I felt after we came back from Europe like I had a really hard time adjusting when we came back from Europe because I was so happy <laughs> traveling whatever but not that I'm not happy in my work life or my personal life um, it's just different I don't know how to explain it besides the fact that I felt like just really peaceful inside really calm and when I'm here and when I'm home I feel like a slight amount of anxiety all the time which is not a bad thing because I deal with like people's lives and people's health. All right, morning clinic is done. I'm just having some lunch before I go into my workout. I made this last night. You guys saw me make it. It is hot honey pasta. It's probably like whenever I post this recipe, it goes viral online. And I didn't create the recipe. The recipe. I like saw a variation of it somewhere else. And then I was like, let me do my own thing. Like, let me add some tofu to this. Like, let me make this a little bit more nutritious and you guys it is literally stunning it's so good i have posted it multiple times on my tiktok but i've also posted it on my instagram so you can find it there it's it's incredible workout is done i had such a good workout i ran on the treadmill for like 15 minutes before which is something i've been incorporating more into my workouts to like get my heart rate up more before i start my workout that way it stays a little bit up during the workout um and i'm kind of more in like a fat burning zone uh because i struggle with getting my heart rate up during like weightlifting. i'm like if i don't do any form of cardio before weightlifting, i can barely get my heart rate like above 120 which is you know fine when you're weightlifting. but anyway i'm about to make a call to um an instructor for a student that i have so i'm gonna do that really quick And then we'll head back to work. It's like 140.